If you're looking for the best fishing tackle, here's a list you must see. We made this list based on our personal preference and sorted it based on their features, prices, quality, durability, and reputation of the manufacturers and customer feedback. Also, we've included options for every type of customer. So let's get started. At the first position of our list, we have the Temple Forks Outfitters Classer Fly Rod. Temple Forks Outfitters is a cooperative comprising a dream team of fly fishing's greats, from founder Gary Loomis of G. Loomis to Lefty Cray, Bob Klauser, and Flip Pallet among others, and there are few people I'd trust more to advise me on a quality fly rod at an accessible price. One such person, Venerated Turks, and Keiko's Flats Fishing Guide, Captain Will Valley of Bonefish Unlimited, swears by them. The one thing you might notice if you happen to find yourself switching between an outfit like TFO Klauser Fly Rod with Redington's Behemoth, Real, and a fancier, exponentially more expensive setup, like Sage Salt HD Rod paired with a Tibra Everglades, Real is weight, which does have a bearing on your ability to cast all day. Throwing a fly rod does tire your arm out more quickly than most other forms of recreational fishing, and a few ounces will make a difference throughout the day but it isn't worth the price tag for most anglers, novice, and seasoned alike. Moving on to the next and number two with Shimano TLD trolling rod and reel combo. Whether you're casually dragging a single lower behind your boat or actively fishing a spread of six or eight lines, it's important to have a trolling rod and reel capable of handling large fish, which can critically damage under-equipped gear and leave you with an even deeper hole in your pocket once you've made the necessary repair. S or replacement, S. While passing through a particularly remote part of Fiji, our trolling gear gave out on us and we were reduced to hand lines which worked perfectly well, but on for everyone and otherwise inferior tackle until we reached New Zealand, where the captain ended up having to invest in all new gear. We lost more fish than either of us cared to recount along the way. Choosing the right trolling gear can be difficult, too light, wait, and you might destroy your tackle, or leave a fish with a lure and spool of line attached to it too heavy duty, and there won't be much sport involved in retrieving most smaller fish. Consider where you, you'll be trolling most of the time, and whether or not the chances of hooking a trophy are worth the extra weight. The number three position is held by Tsunami MH's though pitch jigging slash casting rod. The same reel you'd use for light trolling is exactly what you'll want if you're bottom fishing in relatively deep water, say over 40 feet, but you can and probably want to go a little lighter weight at least with the rod. A spinning rod does the trick to a point, but you'll want an open-faced reel with a more fine-tuned drag and a stiffer rod for better leverage, especially if you're pulling fish up out of structure where they might get stuck. Tsunami makes some of the most durable rods on the market, and while they're often about twice the price of many ugly sticks, they're much higher performance and, in my experience, probably bound to outlive any ugly stick. Though this is just my gauge based on a couple years' use, huh? Snapper, grouper, striped base, cod, sea base, fluke, and halibut all call for this sort of gear when bottom fishing. As for reel, the Shimano TLD is your reel. It's not only easier to fight fish at a vertical angle with an open-faced or conventional reel, it's a lot easier to make adjustments to your drag and retrieve and drop your bait. 2. These reels are around for the long haul, and you won't have any trouble tracking down replacement parts going forward. They're also extremely well-priced in respect to their quality, and I haven't found much of anything reliable and widely available or service within this price range. Next at number four, we have Berkeley Power Bait Trout Nibbles. Power Bait has a reputation for working so well, it's almost cheating. Part of the secret is that these dough-like nuggets are modeled after the food trout, are fed at fish hatcheries, where many of the nation's trout are raised before being released in lakes, rivers, and streams. Just hook one of the nuggets onto a small bait hook and either let it float in a current or use a bobber to let the nugget hang in the water column. Power bait is a great lure for kids and beginners to get a taste of success. Just try to set the hook quickly as trout tend to swallow the bait hole. The number five position is held by Runkle Pro Bite Lipless Crankbait. Freshwater baits are a predator species that are notoriously aggressive and fun to fish because of their aggressive strikes. Growing up in the Finger Lakes, I enjoy trying to get baits to breach with topwater lures, but these diving, rattling crankbaits from Runkle are nearly as fun. Multiple internal rattles draw attention, as does the tight wobbling action on the retrieve, which displaces water and alerts the predator fish such as bass. The lures aren't cheap, 
but they are well made and effective. Change up your retrieval speed to dive to difference and search the water column for your trophy base. The number 6 position is dominated by Rebel Lure's Frog, our topwater lure. When freshwater fishing shallow bogs and grass beds, topwater lures such as this frog imitator from Rebel are a great choice to generate powerful strikes from predator fish such as bass and pike. Twin treble hooks at the tail and underbelly ensure hooks at no matter where the fish strikes from. A realistic color pattern mimics actual frog prey, but it's the action of the lure that really sells it to the fish. This lure is meant to displace lots of water and create disturbance. So use a herky-jerky retrieval style such as just walk the dog, or in this case, walk the frog. Moving on to the next at number 7 with Strike King Rage Twin Tail Menace Grub. Hauling out a stringer full of panfish, such as bluegill and sunfish, is a timeless treat many anglers forget about. Often an accidental catch when fishing for base, panfish are great table fare and can be great fun to fish. The classic lore for panfish is a short grub such as Strike King's Rage Tail Twin Tail. The twin tail displaces water and draws the fish's attention with a flipping action in the tail on retrieval. Hook the grub on a simple bait hook and retrieve slowly for a simple, throwback fishing experience. The grub is also a great option with a bobber or as a trailer on a jig or chatterbait. The number 8 position is held by Team Catfish Secret 7 Dip Bait. Catfish have incredible capacities for taste and smell, and so anglers rightly target them with scent heavy baits. There are plenty of natural baits as well as artificial power bait style dough baits. Dip baits such as Team Catfish's Secret 7 can be used with any catfish bait, including with specialized catfishing tubes with sponges meant to soak up the scented dip. While the bait technically can be used with just a treble hook, the consistency isn't great for fishing solo. Instead, pair it with a specialized dip bait hook, tube bait, or other catfishing baits such as chicken parts, bait doughs, or other lure. Next at number 9, Wapala Down Deep Husky Jerk. Walleye are some of the most choice freshwater table fare, and there are lots of techniques designed to land them. This classic Rapala crankbait is long and lean and imitates the larger bait fish that big walleye prefer to eat, especially early in the season. The plastic lip on the crankbait helps it dive down, and you can control the depth with your retrieval speed. Try different tips and use your fish finder. You have one to figure out where bait fish are congregating and dive your Apollo accordingly. Finally, the number 10 position is dominated by Acme Castmaster Lore with Bucktail Hook. This classic spoon from Acme is a staple in the tackle boxes of both freshwater and inshore fishermen and for good reason. The silver color mimics a wide variety of bait fish and its corrosion resistant finish means it'll last three years of use. The unique shape of the Castmaster isn't your traditional spoon as it doesn't have any pronounced concavity. Still, it behaves like a spoon with rapid fluttering action on the retrieve which, combined with the silver reflective finish, creates a visual alert for predator fish. The dense weight and aerodynamic shape of the lure make it easy to cast, far relative to its size, which is ideal for shore casting. That's all for today. We upload fishing product review videos every single day. So, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for the upcoming video notification.